It's been a while since I did a commentary video. The commentary video from last year was actually the about racism in the geometry test community, which it did actually happen. And it didn't grab that much of attention like what I expected, and, and later it didn't. The other commentary video that I did back in 2020 was actually a hacker that I talked about, which, I, to be honest, it was actually my greatest video I've ever done, my favorite commentary video I've ever done, because the, not only it grabbed a lot of attention, but the video received over 1.2 thousand views in total. Now, this video is going to be a lot more different because this is something that I never actually talked about and never covered. I'm going to talk about some people from the Geometry Dash community, which, well, basically YouTubers from the Geometry Dash community. These individuals are actually stuck with serious allegations, with many with inappropriate ag and behavior. I came across research with a lot of information that I need to talk about, you know, the, the situation that, that what was happening, but I want to talk about a little bit of their origin story and more about the situation that is going on with them. Now, before we actually start, this is just a little quick reminder that if if, if you're if you don't feel unsettled with this video, like this is not your type of video you like to watch, I recommend you not watch this video and move on to something else because and no, this is not something that I'm not scaring anybody with this video. But some topics have some serious allegations, so this is just a little uh, heads up in there. So viewer description is advice. Mel Veronica at that one point, he was a famous player and hacker and geometry as YouTuber in the community. He got so famous for many hackings of many hard demons like Betrayal of Fate and verifying the level called Galaxy Breaker. And he also attempted to verify a level called Viver Sticks. In 2016, Mel Veronica confessed that he was hacking many levels like Sacrament Hell, Galaxy Breaker and other levels that would be hard to explain but he certainly did them. Later on, he made a confession video about why he was doing that. And so later, the video was deleted. It's gotten so bad that he started showing a negative reputation and he was removed completely from the top 50 of the Geometry Dash Demon list. Now that I talk about a little bit of his origin story, I'm going to be talking about the controversy which has a lot of serious topics about male Veronica. In June and July of 2019, people all over the community were spreading out rumors about male Veronica was dealt with very serious accusations about him referring as a after a lot of rumors were spreading all over the community, many people were starting to believe that he was starting to hold with as well. On June 26th of 2019, an underage user on Twitter spoke out about Mel Veronica of how this person received from Mel Veronica. And keep in mind that the person who spoke about Mel Veronica was only 12 years old, and Mel Veronica was around 15 or 16 years old. This could possibly mean that Mel Veronica is a and he could be fined or put in jail a position of there was another situation similar to this as well, of Mel Veronica asking an 11 year old for n Many people started leaking DMs of Mel Veronica talking inappropriate things to minors, which is really sickening. He also did something wrong and totally disrespectful, sending that are not his and exchange them from the other person. Mel was also part of an online relationship that he was a part of. He would completely and abuse these individuals. I'm not going to be talking more about this because I will take a long time to explain about this, but if you guys want to see an info about this, I will leave a link down below if you guys are interested. A psychopath like Mel Veronica shouldn't be allowed in this community. With all the actions that Mel Veronica has done, he shouldn't be allowed in this community ever again. He must pay for his consequences and he must be punished. Now let's move on to our next victim. Crazen was a skilled slash talented player in the Geometry Dash community. He was known for beating several extreme demons such as Safkill, the Plasma Pulse 3, and Digital Descent. He attempted to steal and verify the level by Nubble Boy, making his own good progress in creating his own low detail mode, copying without permission from Nubble Boy. Crazen later apologized to Nubble Boy from the whole incident about verifying the level without permission, and so on Nubble Boy verified the level on February 20. Now, there are actually two controversies about Crazen. The first one being the drama between Crazen and Noble Boy, which I talked about early. And the second controversy has to be the recent allegations about Crazen, which I'll be talking about right now. The Crazen situation started somewhere around on October of 2020. It was revealed that Crazen has a 13 year old girl. This girl goes by the name of Alin, an underage member from the Geometry Dash community. On October 16 of 2020, Alin came forward on Twitter to explain the allegations of Crazen. At that time, Alin was 13 while Crazen was only 16 or 17 years old. She even talked about her experience with Crazen of how they were doing and at one point they felt really uncomfortable. 
in which at one point Crazy and Elaine started to make up a lie like if none of this would have happened. Elaine would stick up with this lie until mid-October, and sooner the lie had to come to an end. Elaine posted several tweets and videos about their conversations on Discord, and many rumors had been spreading about Crazy's many people. After the controversy happened, Crazy's reputation started to fall apart. He posted a Twitter post saying that he was leaving the community for good, which led him to delete his Twitter account and his YouTube channel without leaving a trace. And was Reda became unrated because Rata found out about Crazy's actions. The level was completely removed from the Crazy's account, and later the level was given to another person. After all the controversy that happened in one year, Crazy made his final return. His return failed. On June 29, 2021, Crazy returned with a community post on his YouTube channel. In the community post, he spoke and saying that how he has changed and gotten therapy. After the post was published, Crazy received negative comments from various people, and it seems like people didn't want him back in the community. The best thing to say is that he shouldn't be allowed in his community ever again, or he shouldn't be returning into any other social media. Because even if they say they change, you know that something like that is never going to happen. And to be honest, Crazy shouldn't be allowed from the community as well. He should be gone for good. Marcus and Tonson, better known as his GD username, and Tonson. And Tonson was a talented geometry as global creator at the time. For those of you who don't know who's Tonson, he's basically the guy who created the Unikitty levels. And he was responsible for creating the Unikitty series in GD. His levels became so popular that he started gaining thousands of subscribers on his YouTube channel. And so far he was doing great. Until one day he did something terrible that would ruin his own life forever. On August 21st of 2021, a Geometry Dash YouTuber by the name Phobic posted a tweet message that talked about serious information about Antonson. The message that I'm about to read may be disturbing to some viewers. Remember the guy Antonson GD had like 7,000 on YouTube and lots of fame and creator points? Well, I'm going to tell you something about him that you probably didn't know that should be brought to light. Some of you may know about Antonson's things with people online which is quite disgusting in itself but recently I've been tipped off by one of his ex-friends, Cyber, about things so much worse and Tonson apparently told him that he has been his 11 year old sister. And Tonson is 23. I have attempted to report this to the Child Protective Service in Norway but as someone who lives in the United States I generally don't know if they're doing anything about this. Please if you live in Norway or even better in the city of Tromsø municipality where he lives I would strongly hope you would report this. His full name is Marcus Antonson. Please get the guy thrown in jail. I can't imagine what he has done that we don't know. And the fact that he had a platform of children under him makes it so much more disgusting. Literally after hearing this information, it's very sickening and very horrible. And the fact that Antonson has completely confirmed himself as a Many people have said that this controversy is similar to the crazy situation, which completely in fact, it is. Phobic also shared private DMs on Discord with Antonson, and Tonson immediately confirming himself that he has been his sister, and manipulating his friend Cyber which I mentioned earlier in the tweet message. There was another DM on Discord where Antonson shared a drawing of himself and his sister doing an inappropriate act. I tried to find more information about Antonson to make this a little bit longer, but I couldn't find anything. Now we truly don't know where's Antonson. If Antonson is really in jail, jail is the perfect place for creeps. Luis Miguel Hill, better known as his online username on YouTube, Guitar Hero Styles, It's Advy Styles, and Advy Styles, but he's more commonly known as Guitar Hero Styles. Guitar Hero Styles joined the YouTube platform on July 9, 2011. Before he made Geometry Dash videos, he uploaded many videos of himself playing a popular video game, Guitar Hero. And he also participated on a Guitar Hero tournament on DreamHacks 2017. On March 17, 2014, Guitar Hero Styles uploaded his first Geometry Dash video. The video showed Guitar beating a level called Theory of Everything. He continues to upload more Geometry Dash videos such as playing the official Robtop levels, user levels, and also practicing levels. On May 30, 2015, he posted a confession video of saying of how he was hacking many several demons. However, many people in the community took it normal, while others took it seriously. And soon, the confession video was deleted. On November 15, 2017, he became the first Geometry Dash YouTuber to reach 1 million subscribers, and he received his golden play button on January 15, 2018. Guitar currently has over 2 million subscribers on his YouTube channel, making him the second most subscribed Geometry Dash YouTuber. Guitar was pretty much doing great on his channel. 
until one day he did something terrible that would lead his career all the way to the bottom of the drain. The controversy began on October 24, 2021. Pan and along some members in the community exposed Guitar Hero styles of how he was having an inappropriate behavior towards women. The community was entirely in shock when his tweet was published. One of Guitar's previous partners in which she had a relationship with him, she shared a statement in which she talked about her relationship experience with Guitar. Now, the original pacement has been deleted, but I was able to recover it by using the Wayback Machine. I'm not going to read the entire statement because the statement is very long, but however, I am going to read some parts of the archive. When I first met Guitar, he got very close to me very quickly. In just a couple of days, he pretty much opened his heart to me, told me private stuff about his life, and made me feel close to him. He was the only one that made me feel like I was the only one by his side, that he was completely unknown, and that I made him want to keep going. He was nice and sweet to me in the very beginning, but after a month he started showing his true colors. He started using me as an emotional punching bag, not in a I need to vent way. He would also blame me for everything that was wrong in his life, treating me horrible while he was upset, and rejecting to tell me anything about what was going on. Making me feel both guilty and clueless, he would punish me for something I didn't even know if I was doing. Following that emotional abuse, the appeared. I realized he would never take a no as a response, trying to force me into having with him every night we spent together, trying to manipulate me into having it. He would only be nice and caring with me at night, just moments before he would force me to have At a point, he would even say to me, I know that you will let me if I keep kissing you. Sometimes he would fully force me to have with him while I was crying because I was feeling bad emotionally. Even with several no given to him, I had him several times without my explicit consent and with my negative to it. After a year, the emotional abuse got worse. He would give me the silent treatment constantly. He would still punish me for everything that was wrong in his life and also threaten me if I dared talk to him on stream because I would ruin his job. The people who got close to him can agree that you can never say something against what he thinks or believes. He thinks his words are law and everything he says and thinks is perfect. If you ever tried to say otherwise, he would get absolutely livid. To be honest, just after hearing the story, it wants to make you hate Guitar Hero Styles even more. Just thinking about it, Guitar Hero Styles is a monster. Now this isn't the full controversy as well. There was another part of the controversy. A few years back, in 2016, Guitar sent a 15 year old girl an inappropriate image of himself. At the time, Guitar was only 19. Now what's even interesting, the photo that I showed you, it was actually taken in a keyboard video that he was working on in 2016. Now I really don't get this, why would this photo be shown this time, meanwhile he, he would have been exposed from that a few years back. Well, even though he got exposed by his behavior, things gotten so much worse for a guitar. He was kicked out out of the canos, he became permanently banned in the demon list, two of his epic rated levels were moved into other accounts, and he was removed from the Geometry Dice moderator team. When the controversy happened, Souls no longer associates with guitar anymore. And Guitar just completely pretends like this situation actually never happened. Guitar pretty much changed and destroyed his whole YouTube career. Guitar will no longer be like the guitar that we all know and used to love. It's best way to say that he shouldn't be in the community or even better, not be in the YouTube platform. And all in conclusion, I think Guitar Hero Styles no longer deserves his place in the Geometry Dash Hall of Fame. Anyways guys, it's gonna be the end of this video, I hope you guys enjoy. Now before I actually end this video, I wanna say I really apologize for posting this video very late. I was kinda busy for the past few days, especially with a little bit with work as well, but I'm actually back on track on YouTube, so you know what that means, more videos and stream for all of you. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like because I worked so hard in this video and it took me a very well to edit this video as well. Like I said, that's gonna be the end of this video. Now if you guys are new, be sure to click subscribe to become part of the Geek Squad so you cannot miss any videos I upload. So yeah, my name is Rider, and I say goodbye.